Well, I'm a third of the way done in the front paddock, and uh, a weird, th <laughs> a weird thing happened, like a an Escher's uh, mousetrap kind of puzzle thing. So while I was in there, uh, and I had a load on my front fork truck, uh, one of those branches in vengeance reached in, grabbed my safety pin, sheared the uh, little uh, cotter pee off the back, and yanked it out of my forks. And if you take a look at the forks, they are not where they're supposed to be. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I'm using the forks to kind of make it safe for me to go through this deep brush. I kind of chomp it down with the forks and then drive in. Uh, also, I hung myself up on a stump once in here. So this is without, uh, you know, risk. So what I'm gonna do here to fix this, I'm hoping, uh, but I see it's pinching the hydraulic line. Uh, I'm in trouble here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up to that cedar tree, put the forks against it, and then turn into the forks, hopefully pushing them back where I could get them onto position. I'm going to leave the camera run right here out of uh, harm's way uh, while I do this work. Uh, fingers crossed, uh, I would really like to finish this job. Boy, I really, I really bent that, didn't I? <laughs> I really bent it. Uh, furthermore, I horse it around. I'm damaging that bark now on that cedar, so uh, I gotta stop. <laughs> uh, well, I, my daughter said I could cut some cedars out of here, and randomly destroying them isn't what I want to do. Man, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. So. Uh, not quite sure what I'm going to do here, but uh, I said tractors are disposable. The Cosmos heard me and I went, oh, let's do a weird thing. See if you really, if you really believe what you say. Of course I believe what I say, but there's the proof in the pudding. <laughs> All right. Definitely took a little wind out of my sail. Not sure how to get it up on there. One more attempt. What if I, what if I had the forks up there, up a little bit, and I drove into the tree in the middle, and then I kind of flexed it like that and did some things like that. Let's try that. I guess the cedar. I'm going to use this cedar as one that I'm going to cut down. <laughs> She, she doesn't know that yet. All right, I did number two, attempt one. Driving up to the tree and with on both sides of the fork and kind of using it as uh, maybe to unbend it, uh, maybe on that side, I don't know. We'll find out. I think that idea might work. I don't have my uh, pry bars and my big bars that I need for this. In addition, I think I'll get a bottle jack or something underneath there. And with a bottle jack, I could clear this, jack it up, get it back on here. I don't know how bent that uh, pin is or not. I, I suspect that the bend, if it's in there, is in the joints, which I greased up and got ready. Uh, but that's possible. It feels like it's possible. There's where the pin goes. Wow, you know, really something, really something. 
All right, well, here's my field repair attempt one. So I've got a couple of uh, ratchet straps with me. I got heavier duty ones than that. So I've got a ratchet strap on the bottom of this. I've run it up to the headache rack. I'm hoping that I can get it up and over uh, and back on to so that. Uh, I really think I'm going to need a two ton jack on, on this thing itself, but between the hydraulics and the ratchet strap, I'm hoping that I can get that. Man, I, I don't see it moving at all. Wow. Well, I didn't like that dangerous thing at all, and it didn't help one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. But I got a bigger strap. Maybe I could get a bigger strap up around that branch. Come along it. Get this up. Put the strap through. through somewhere I can pick it up not done yet I do have a second ratchet strap let's try it the second ratchet strap well I'm not ready to get killed over this thing so but my idea here is is to try to pick this up but personally I think I've bent it and I think I'm just spitting in the wind trying to do a field repair so if this doesn't work I'm going to ratchet it up so that I can drive it back, get it to the trailer where I can work on it, and then maybe I'll go get some bottle jacks and some other jacks that maybe I can I can work this. But let's try this. I don't see how that's gonna work. That branch will just keep going down and down and down. Not doesn't have enough. Stiffness is not an oak. I mean, maybe if there's a couple of hundred pounds that it needs to pick up, maybe. I think I'm spitting in the wind up. All right. Well, next thing is to get it over to the trailer. I've got some cement right there. Maybe I could get it over to that cement. Get it on a surface or put some tension on it. Maybe it'll work. Maybe. Well, this is the closest that I've gotten so far in the field with this idea. Now, unfortunately, the pin is underneath the bracket, but I've got it back on there, here. It's the straightest it's been. What I found is a 12 foot two by four, and that has enough leverage off of that tire. I was able to bounce it on. So maybe now I can wiggle it or back it up or I don't know haven't decided yet but we're working on it I am surprised 
I am surprised. Maybe if I strapped it to the uh, tree and backed up. I don't know. We'll, we'll keep trying. This seems to be working. What I'm going to try to do is a combination of driving that off and maybe it'll come out just a little bit. And then using the board. I'll leave the board in this time. Uh, see whether or not my wheels throw it off or what happens to it. But I'm thinking maybe it's dangling out there helping me. If I could just get this to come forward enough that the bracket could go around it, I might be able to save this thing out here in the field. Feels like ratchet strap time. Ratchet strap that thing over. So we're back to ratchet straps. Ratchet straps are back on the menu, boys. We'll use my big ratchet strap, not that little one. That was scary to me. I don't want to get slapped in the face by a 700 mile an hour ratchet strap. It's working. All right. I don't know, Internet, if you could see this microscopic movement. So if this can get over the top of that, I think we'll be home free. See that? Oh, man, Internet. So excited I messed up my ratchet! I know I'm gonna get one shot at this internet. One shot. And this is the closest I've gotten to it. It feels like to me if I drive it in that'll go sh that way because I'm under tension. For the first time since this disaster befell me, I've at least got the top pin in. And it was way over here. You can see the, man, my hoses were rubbing. That was super crooked. Man, this went from a mowing the woods thing to an emergency field repair. All right, so I'm going to eat a Mounds bar, drink a Dr. Pepper, get lots of sugar in me because, uh, you know, i got to get that, that goes, brain cells going, going fast. I'm going to get one shot at this thing in the field, right? Every farmer knows that. So I need to pause, think about the physics of it, which I have not mastered yet. This thing's a mystery to me. You know, the hydraulics move it one way and the weight does the other way and the bend does another way. And, but, uh huh. If I could just get that safety pin there in now. I haven't lost any digits, haven't been killed, so let me take a break and think about this. Get recharged. Great men know to count on girl power, right? So here's our idea. 
I'm going to drive it into the tree. She's going to stick that in there. Look at that. It's going to poke me right in the eye. Hold on. Nope. I don't get her. We did it. Yeah. I need a safety pin. Back in the mowing business, boys. I should check the other side, see if I sheared that pin, too. Thank you, baby girl. All right, nice to be back in the mowing business. All right, safety pins in. I put a new C clip on. It's down in here. The hydraulics are working. We are back in business. So I'm going to put you on stop motion until the camera conks out. I've already got a low battery. And uh, see how much more of this I get done.